Hi everyone, this is Shannon from the theirishscrapper.blogspot.com and today I have a card for you um, that is embossed and has some die cut, so it should be fun. So let me show you uh, how to get started. Um, I actually kept it to two color schemes, so I'm using Pool Party and Island Indigo and a piece of vellum, and then I'm using the One Big Meaning stamp set, which has many ways to say thank you. And we're gonna be using a little thanks. Uh, so let me show you how to get started. Um, so for our card base, I have a piece of Pool Party, and this is cut at four and a quarter, whoops, four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half. So you can see that here. And then I have a piece of vellum that is cut at four by five and a quarter. So we're gonna go ahead and emboss that vellum um, with the embossing folder, and I will put it up on the screen. I think it is softly falling, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna go ahead and stick that in there. That looks pretty good. And I'll bring my Big Shot in. So I have my Big Shot. Uh, loaded here on tab one uh, with my cutting plate and I'm going to put my other cutting plate on top and then we're going to go ahead and run this through and the vellum is pretty thin um, but it seemed to work okay for this project so uh, I thought we'd go ahead and and keep it um, so I'm going to leave my big shot there because we're going to use it again. Um, but you can see now, here is the vellum. So I'll put that aside. And then we're going to go ahead and cut our butterflies while we have this out. So let me get my magnetic plate and my sandwich plate. And then we're using the butterfly thinlets. And I'm going to go ahead and use this one and this solid one here. So I'll do the big one first, or the larger one of the two, and that is cut in the Island Indigo. Let me see if I have another piece of that. Use this, I'm laying that down, and then I'm gonna use my plate. Whoops, I just bumped it myself. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our butterfly. And I'm going to roll this through twice since it's one of those uh, intricate butterflies. Whoa, sorry about that. I hit the camera. Okay, so we will pull out our butterfly. And then I will quickly do the smaller butterfly in the pool party. So we can get this big shot out of our way. So let me lay that down. get my other plate and I'll try not to hit that this time. This one I'm just going to put through once since it's just a solid cut. Let me get that big shot out of our way. Okay, so let me set this aside. So we have our one butterfly here, and uh, this butterfly is perfect to use with the, the new dye brush that comes with a pad. I don't have it yet, so I'm just going to go ahead and use a little stylist and kind of pop some of these larger ones out. Then I will bring back our card base and our vellum and then what I've done is I've taken a piece of the pool party I think it's called glitter ribbon if I'm not mistaken and we're going to put that off to the left hand side and I'm going to use a little bit of um, vellum adhesive to hook that down you could use you know any of the adhesive you have as long as you you hide it you know underneath the the ribbon because it will show 
So I've turned over the vellum so I have more of the texture at the top, which will allow me to stamp in this lower, lower right corner. So let me flip this over and I'm going to put a touch of adhesive here. And I'm going to get one piece of ribbon folded over so I can kind of tell at this point if I'm straight. Let me line this up. Run the adhesive down the center of that ribbon since it will not show and get that adhered to the front of our card. Okay. And I'm okay with that looseness. I can always, you know, play around with that later. Um, so we'll go ahead and do our stamping, I think. So, oh, I'm sorry. Yikes, today is just not my day. I have the Island Indigo. And I have my stamp, a little thanks, and it's right here in front of me. Let me ink that up. And I am going to stamp that just in this lower right corner. Perfect. And I'm going to clean my stamp, my stamp and scrub. And then because I stamped onto vellum, I'm going to bring in my embossing gun and just dry that so it doesn't smudge. Looks good. I'm going to set that to the side. We're done with the stamping. Okay, and I'm going to put a touch of adhesive in that corner. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and do our butterfly. Um, so I am going to layer these butterflies with a couple glue dots and I have those here as well a couple leftovers from paper pumpkin so it looks like it's fluttering and then one more little detail is I'm using a little bit of uh, a couple of our rhinestones um, which I think they actually were on last week's weekly deal. I think this week is the pearls. Either would look great. So I'm going to take two of the smallest ones and I'm going to put those just down uh, the center of the butterfly. If I can get them off here. It is late for me to be recording, which you can all tell. So I'm kind of fumbling a little bit here. And we're going to put those on the back. And there's our little card. So I think these came out super cute um, and are fairly easy to, to create. Um, and I, again, just love these colors. And I've been meaning to use this ribbon, which I've had for quite some time. Um, so today I thought I would pull it out and try to come up with something. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to be back with you soon. Thanks so much. Bye.